What's up guys, back with another video. Uh, today I wanted to go over my bow setup that I am currently running. If any of you guys were probably wondering on what I'm currently using. So without further ado, let's get on with this. So the bow that I am using right now is the Hoyt Carbon Spider Turbo from 2015. Uh, this is rated at IBO speed 350 feet per second. It is a 33 inch axle axle bow and uh, quote me on this if I'm wrong, brace height is six and a half inches or six inches. Uh, so it's a, it's for a turbo bow, it's quite a forgiving bow. Uh, very, very smooth draw for it being a turbo. The site that I am currently using is the Black Gold Rush 7 pin. Uh, it is a very nice, durable site, nice and simple and it doesn't break the bank really at all. Uh, it comes in at around 100 to 120 bucks. And uh, for that money, you're getting a very, very solid site that isn't gonna fail on you out in the field. Uh, the stabilizer that I am running right now is the Bee Stinger Sport 10 inch stabilizer. Uh, very nice, solid stabilizer. It balances my ball out with the quiver that I am running right now, which is the Tight Spot 5 arrow quiver. Um, I like this quiver because of how tight you can put it to your bow, so you're not having to really compensate with how you're holding your bow from all your arrows on your quiver. Um, and I like the fact that you can also tilt the quiver. So if you see right here, my quiver is tilted a teeny bit back so it can compensate for the big stabilizer and uh, has my bow nice and stable. Not swinging back on me, not swinging forward on me. It is uh, just right. Uh, the rest that I'm currently running is the is QAD's Hoyt rest, uh, Hoyt Ultra rest. Uh, and I have it in green right now so I can match up with the Max 1 camo that the bow is in. Uh, my thoughts on this rest, I love this rest. It's very nice. It's a full containment drop away rest. And uh, when you get the rest, it comes with cloth that goes around the prongs and the, uh, the single prong that sticks up over your drop away. So that's what's making it full containment and that little cloth fiber is making it nice and silent. So if your arrow is bouncing around in there, it's not gonna make like a clanging noise at all. And uh, it's a it's quite a quiet rest for uh, for it being a drop away. Uh, my wrist sling that I'm running is just a regular paracord wrist sling. Um, I have it custom custom colors, so it's like it's orange, and then right here is more of like a camo color paracord. Um, <clears throat> and the arrows that I am using at the moment are the Gold Tip Hunter XT 350 spine arrows. Uh, they're around, my arrows right now are around three, 395 grains, 396. So it's not too heavy, not too light. It's kind of just like your middle range arrows. So you're still getting speed, but you're still gonna be getting penetration on that bull that you kill. Um, Right now, I, with those arrows, I'm chronographed at 309 feet per second, uh, which, I mean, it's, it's zooming. Those arrows are like laser beams. I love watching them go down the range at 70, 80, and 90 yards. It's really cool. Um, speaking about yardages, what my pins are currently set at right now, since I have seven, I am 30 through 90 at the moment. Um, eventually I want to get the Black Gold Ascent Verdict 5 pin sight uh, just so there's a little less of a mess of pins in the middle of a sight. It's just 5 and then you can slide down to 100 yards. Um, so oh and my release that I am running right now is the Spot Hog Wise Guy. Uh, I love this release. I love that there's no travel with the trigger. It just clicks and goes off. Um, just a super solid release. It's like bomb proof. Um, and the customization on it is, it's like endless. Like how 
you could customize your sensitivity on your trigger you could really really customize the length of how far your release is out me I have mine kind of close so I can wrap my finger around the release or the trigger I mean um, and the uh, the wrist I guess I would say the, the wrist sling on it is very very comfortable it's nice and padded and uh, folds back just like that nice and quiet and uh, if you're in the heat of the moment you can kind of be cool and like flip it out be like spider-man <laughs> so uh, that is going to be the conclusion to this video if you guys found this video any useful or if you enjoyed it make sure to go down like comment rate and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video